Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from Stay Make Picades. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be working with auto make and auto tools. I'm going to show you how to, you can generate your own make files and uh, where you can, you know, you have a nice alternative to using CMake for those people that don't want to use CMake. Uh, this is for you. So let's get started. I created a directory called project and in that directory called project, I have included the following three files and one directory okay so first let's go into that directory that I created and in that directory I have two files a make file am and the source file wherever the code is main C so in it is this it's just a file just to just to test the system to make sure that everything is working right. So it's right here. I'm going also going to include this in my description of this video, but it's also here. If you want to copy it, just stop the video and copy it there. And copy and paste it into that file called main C. And now for the other file, make file.am, there's only these two things in it. In it, you're calling, you're telling it what the binary is going to be called, and you're also telling it where the sources for that binary are. So that's all you need to do: the name of what you want to call your your executable and the uh, and your the source code. Get out of it. So that's all you have in there. So now we're going up and see what is inside the other one. And let's just do this. So you know, inside the directory are these two files that I just show you. And outside of that directory are these three files. So now we're, I'm going to show you what these three guys are. So let's go start with the first one. Nano configure AC. Oops. And you need to include this just like the way I have it. I mean, that's pretty generic. It's telling the, the system what to do, what to create, a header file for, for the config, um, another make file outside, and a source make file. So this is what the instructions, so please do them just like I included them. And I'm going to put it here so you can just copy them. Uh, where are they? They're right here. So this, if you want to just stop the video and copy them, Go right ahead. So control X, save out of here. And now I'm gonna show you what is inside this file. So go nano make file. Why am I doing I don't know why I'm not using auto completion. Okay, and inside that uh, make file am is called you're telling it what the sort of directories are. And you're also telling what other data is inside. And it's only a readme file. And now we're going to check what it what is inside the readme file. And that's what is inside the readme file. Okay, just like I have it here. Where is it? Right here. So control X. And now we're ready to configure. So if you follow along, you should be ready to configure also so we're right here so the first thing you need to do oh i forgot to tell you this uh if you do not have this installed into your system do it now auto conf because you will need it a lot of you might have it already but just in case you don't have it i already have it here so so just do sudo apt install. It's not apt get, it's apt install, autoconf. And now that you have it in there, you go auto reconf dash dash install. And now it's going to install the compile. It's going to install the batch install files. If we check now, we're going to see that there's a whole bunch of new stuff in there. Now we're ready to make, but before I do, <coughs> excuse me, let's, let me show you something in the source file so you know what is inside now. 
it created this one but now you're going to see how it changes and we go make and it's to do what did I do uh, no I have to configure first what am I doing clear I went one step ahead of myself configure and now you're configuring inside everything is is fine and just so you know this is what I just that's the one that I just executed that configure right there and now I'm ready for make so now if we check this SRC file there is your make and uh, if you want to run it now we go hello and there you go hello world merry christmas and happy new year and this is the end of this tutorial in the next tutorial i will show you how to uh, add a new uh, code that you want to run this will become handy especially when you're running samples for uh, OpenCV uh, but it that will you will have to wait till the next tutorial this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and uh, follow me on github and twitter and i will see you next time thank you thanks for watching